Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use a practice tool that goes along with your lesson book. Um, this is a really great tool um, that's online, that's free to anybody that's purchased a book. So um, it's, it's really a great way to kind of freshen up things if, if you're getting tired of, of the way you've been practicing. And um, we've had lots of students really enjoy it. So you're gonna need your um, book handy and um, on the inside cover, on this page right here, there's a student activation code. And every book has a different code. And so you can't steal the code that I'm gonna share because um, once it's used once, it, it can't be used for other accounts. Um, but that is something uh, that you're gonna need handy to complete this process. Okay, so um, I shifted over to my computer screen so you can see what to do next. Um, and by the way, there is an app for this. I haven't messed with it much. Um, you can use it on your phones. Uh, it's a free app. Just uh, look up Essential Elements Interactive. And um, I'm sure it's about the same process, but if you have the, the chance to do it on your computer or on a computer the first time, I think it'll be easier to navigate through to set up the account. Okay, so you're going to go to the website EssentialElementsInteractive.com. It is, um, that website is listed on the back of your lesson book if you need help with spelling or whatever. Okay, it's right there. You're going to go to that site. And once you get there, you're going to click on students. We're going to create a new account. And every school has a student or excuse me has a school code and so we're all going to use the same code and for us that's going to be prairie cre band 14 so no spaces everybody uses the same code that's how you link up with me as your teacher okay so you're going to need uh, to enter that as your school code once you do that, you guys don't have student IDs set up, okay, for, for this um, uh, uh, thing. We are, um, we're just going to override that and skip that and click on I don't have an EEI student ID. And then you're going to verify that you have your own book. You've read and agreed to the terms of use. Parents, if you want to check that out, you certainly can. And this is where you're going to enter in that activation code. So I'm going to enter in mine. And um, this happens to be Ethan Hackman's book. If your buddy's with Ethan or if he's watching, uh, this book was somehow um, in our lost and found donated books. And so um, before I left, I tried to grab a couple extra books to help you guys out. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create um, an account for Ethan. Okay, at this point, um, you're gonna have to remember your username and your password. I would recommend doing the same thing. Um, I, I'm just gonna, Hopefully I can remember I made the password. We can change that later, Ethan, if you really care. Uh, but you're gonna make it the same as you use for your other passwords, because uh, I don't think anybody's gonna be trying to break into this. Okay, and then we confirm. Sure, I'll save Ethan and so I can get back in there. You select your grade. Um, and this is because as fifth graders, it'll just roll over to next year and you'll still be registered for under Prairie Creek Intermediate. Okay, and then um, Okay, and so then it takes you back to the beginning, okay? And so then this is gonna log in. It remembers me as Ethan Hackman. My dog literally just opened this closed door. Oh no, he came through the closet and is like trying to figure out why I'm in the guest room to our, that, that I don't usually hang out in. He's trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so, um, whoops, wrong window. Okay, so, um, at this point, 
Uh, you can enter your email so that um, you can retrieve your login. I highly recommend doing this. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not Ethan. And then this takes you to um, your home page. So you're finally in. So the next time uh, you actually like want to use this, you go back to the home page, interact essential elements interactive.com. You click on students, it remembers you, you sign in. It keeps asking you for your email until you do it. So just do it. And then it'll take you to the home page. Okay. So my next video, um, I will go ahead and show you to like how to actually use this tool, but you got to set up your account um, so you know what to do. Okay, so uh, hang on just a minute and we'll get going on actually like using this.